Take it on the road with the U.S. Hot Rod Monsters as they invade the Midwest this July. Terre Haute's getting ready for a battle royal July 16th and 17th at Big O' County Fairgrounds when the Monster Jam Summer Slam World Tour comes to call it. Log on now at PaceMotorsports.com. Get tickets today. Back in Indy, Nightmare getting ready to go up against Gravedigger. Let's learn more about Gary Bauer. Gary Bauer's Nightmare began years ago in Detroit, Michigan. Well, I was working at an event with a truck puller back in the, in the 80, early 80s, and uh, when I saw, you know, the monster truck influence the very first time that it was actually publicized at an event, I said, right then, I got to do it. By the time the first Macintosh hit the market, Gary was racing. And I started building the truck in 1983, and I had it out on the, actually on the professional circuit in 1984. I'm probably one of the pioneers of this sport, so to speak. And the bus began the nightmare. We like the name because, you know, people do ask that question all the time, and and uh, people that don't know the background of this, it actually is kind of a nightmare. You know, making the, making the miles, doing the, the trips overnight, and, and fixing the breakage from weekend to weekend, and getting the thing back up to 100% so that we can come out here and give it our all every, every weekend. Well, the question is, if monster truck racing can ruin a good night's sleep, why doesn't Gary Bowers end the nightmare? I don't think it'll ever be over because I'm, I'm just so committed to the sport and to the industry and to the innovation, you know, to track building and, you know, the whole nine yards of what, you know, makes this a sport. I, I mean, I, I, I love it. I want to keep doing it. And as long as I physically can, because it, you know, takes a little bit of abuse on your body, but I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. And as long as I can keep doing it, I'm going to keep doing it. Well, I'd say that uh, Gary has his hands full here tonight with Gravedigger. Look at the fans here in Indy. That's that Gravedigger skull and crossbones flag, just like the Digger has, and the kids love to have what the Digger has. Gary Bauer would love nothing better than to pull this huge upset and beat Dennis Anderson here in Indy. But Dennis Anderson loves this type of course. It really drives him well. He's going to be tough to beat, I think. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, Bauer's got to go for it. And remember, even if he doesn't win, he's got a shot because the fast qualifier comes back in the next round. Good point. And it is into the turn first. Grave Digger up over those cars. Digger pulls away down the stretch. Another great run for Dennis Anderson. Like you're right on it. Nobody, I don't think, drives a course week in and week out, year in and year out, like this, like Dennis Anderson does. Here's the replay. A little tight trying to make that turn, but still does a pretty good job. And, and Dennis had told us, you really got to get that hammer down. You got to get into that throttle quickly coming out of that turn. He did that. Gary Bauer's solid run was the fastest losing run of the second round, so he'll be back. But Dennis Anderson's the man right now. Dennis, we're down to it. You good shape? How do you feel? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, that, that pass that I just made was probably the best one that I made all night. Pretty smooth turn. I think it's going to be me and Gunslinger in the finals. Scott's got a short wheelbase. He's cutting his track tight. He's doing a good job. We got to go over here and battle about the lanes right now. If he gets his lane, he'll probably win. But we'll see. We've got another little malfunction with the digger. We've got a uh, we got a pinion support bearing, a retainer that's broke in it. Which it was broke this round right here. And the crew guys, they're checking it out. And I told them, hey, we'll run it. So it'll be a wing and a prayer. Maybe it'll go. Maybe it'll blow. Who knows? But we cannot stop and fix it now. There's not enough time to replace the differential in it. So we're just going to cross our fingers, hope for the best, and, hey, we'll either make history or be history. So, an interesting story developing with Gravedigger as we have moved down now to the semifinals. Tennis has always raced like he was going to make history or be history. <laughs> and Differential's got nothing to do with that. I'll tell you, it's been a great, great night of action so far. As you go inside the cab with Samson, Gravedigger was able to get the win over Nightmare 2. But as we discussed, Mike, Nightmare 2 still the fastest qualifier in round two, so he's still alive. He'll have to face Gunslinger in the semifinals. And we'll talk more about what we might expect in the 